I'm Jacqueline, and I'm coming to you today because I healed from Crohn's disease about four years ago, and I'm now on a mission to help other others believe that healing is possible for them too. And so what I want to talk to you about today is all about the four engines that Dr. Anoop talks about and how they connected to my healing journey. And so what the four engines are, are nutrition, movement, connection, and rest. And the one I want to focus on a little bit is rest, which was so important for me on my path to healing. And, you know, I feel like rest is starting to become a little bit more of a hot topic and people are talking about it now more and more that more and more people are really feeling burnt out in life, especially after COVID. But it was a thing even before then. And so for me, I found that if I didn't rest, my learning was that my body would make me rest. And I didn't know that before. And so a few things I just wanted to talk about were how you might be able to add in intentional rest to your life so that your body doesn't do it for you. We don't want our bodies to force us to rest, but we can do it ourselves. And so a couple of things that have really helped me on my path of learning to rest is finding ways to rest daily and really understanding what rest means. So I used to think rest equaled sleep, like do I have to take a nap? Do I have to sleep? Like, yes, that's important. Um, but rest can also just be relaxing your body so that it's not in this like anxious go, go, go state. Um, We want to relax it so that it's coming back to balance. And so some ways that you might be able to relax, everyone's different, but for me, I'll tell you a few of mine. Reading helps me to relax, taking baths, walking in nature, um, different types of meditation or sound therapies creative expression so maybe painting something like that um and i actually find a lot of rest going to acupuncture too i find that to be so relaxing and restful um so think about what that might be for you some people also find it really relaxing to do the dishes or the laundry because you're not really thinking you're just you're able to just do something with your hands um gardening is another one that i hear a lot of people love playing musical instruments things like that things that aren't working but are allowing your body to come back into balance and i think that in our society now it's so much like work 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 go, 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 that we haven't really been conditioned to rest and relax. And so, you know, how can you make that part of your daily routine? That knowing that rest is important, it's just as important, if not more important than work and your other personal responsibilities. How can you integrate that rest? On that topic, how can you make sure that you're actually using your vacation days in your personal days. So many people, um, I've been in a corporate background for the last over 10 years, and so many people that I know don't take their vacation days and don't use a personal day or even a sick day. And what I find is if you don't do that intentionally, your body will force you to do that through sickness or disease. And so how do you make that a priority and, and really be intentional about when am I taking vacation? Is it on my calendar? How can I plan that now and not put that off as something that's like not important? Vacation and personal days are extremely important to your health and healing journey. And so I would just encourage you to think about that. Do you have a vacation planned or a vacation days planned on your calendar once a quarter, once every three months? How do you make sure that you have intentional time carved out um, to allow your body to rest daily, but then also in that bigger way where you're truly disconnecting from technology and from really work. <laughs> it's the big thing. Or from your personal responsibilities if you're caretaking or something like that. So that's a big one. 
And then the third one that was really important for me on my journey to healing and finding rest was boundaries. <laughs> I think that word scares some people. But what I mean is, how are you taking back control of your time? Are you ever asking for help? Are you making sure that you're only working a certain amount of hours? Are you keeping track of what you're saying yes to? Or are all those things just sort of on autopilot and you're just like, yes, I can do it. I don't need to ask for help. I can keep working. It's fine. Go, go, go. Um, I found that I was definitely guilty of all of those things. When I was sick, I was still not asking for help. I was working more than I needed to work. And I was saying yes to things I shouldn't have been saying yes to. So that's just another invitation for you to think about today. What might you need to ask help for? What could you say no to that maybe you don't even really want to do, but you're just saying no, or you're just saying yes because you think you should. Um, and how can you scale back a little bit on your work hours? What could you, you know, give back? What could you say no to? I know that that's easier said than done, but it's just something to think about because again, when we don't put up our own boundaries, when we don't schedule our vacation time, and when we don't incorporate rest, our body says, oh, this is my job to make sure that he, she, they rest. This is my job to make sure that this happens because they're not doing it on their own. So I will step in and do this. I will make them sick and that will put them on the couch and they will rest. Because rest isn't something that is a nice to have. I learned that it is a true need to have. It is a true need in our lives to rest. <laughs> so I hope that this gives you a few you know, food for thought ideas on how you might start incorporating that for yourself. Um, I found this to be so impactful. And, you know, once I was uh, allowing myself to rest, my body didn't need to force me to do that anymore. So if you have any questions or want to chat about this further, you can message me on Instagram. I'm at joyfuljack, J-A-C underscore, and I would love to chat more with you. But just in encouraging you today, how can you rest just a little bit even today? Okay, good luck. You got this.